been around a while. We were once a startup uh, 130 years ago. Um, and after a while, you lose that uh, remembrance of what it was to be a startup. We innovate in um, big technology. So think of jet engines, MRIs, um, trains, planes, uh, and um, things at scale. In the past five years in particular, we've done a lot to partner with startups. Um, and I think for us, it's a recognition of a couple of things. Um, we can't do it all our own. The problems we're trying to solve, the environment, um, health, access to health care. Um, these are too hard for any one organization to do alone. The themes for us that we're looking to partner in and um, areas where we've had success, uh, energy, especially clean tech, but uh, all kinds of oil and gas innovation that, that we're partnering on, health care, uh, imaging, but increasingly digital health care and digital health applications. When we started uh, four years ago, uh, almost, um, there really was absolutely nothing for swimming. There still is very few, are very few products for swimming. But is that because it's too hard to make it waterproof? It or is, is it a different dynamic in the so, water? Um, yeah, I mean, manufacturing is one of our biggest challenges. We operate in producing biodiesel from used cooking oil. I've heard of this in some markets. So you, you feel like it's a global challenge for yes, you? Yes, it's actually booming now because yeah. um, because by 2020, 20% of the transportation fuel should be regulated to be biofuels. Mm. What I see also what we're doing is like building block of three digital smart cities. What's the hardware piece of it? Dimmer, a relay, okay. a change of a relay, a sensor. Our sensors are 10 in one. We took existing technologies and we added up a lot of digital on it in a manner that allows it to really optimize the cost of energy for any particular customer. You target a commercial, residential? Both, we have industry even. First thing we're hearing is just the lack of creativity that most organizations feel. They have the innovation imperative, but they don't have the creative people in their companies they need. They frankly are scared by creative people. They don't know what to do with them. Um, they don't know how to retain them, and they admit that. The second thing is what I've alluded to, the need for partners. So uh, whether you're a business or a government, a startup or an academic institution, you know you can't do it alone. The third thing is just this idea that um, Yes, we're in business to make money, but the best invention, the best innovation has to be tethered to a need. It's this idea of purpose before profit and getting the balance right, and you see that around the world. And then finally, I think everyone is struggling with the tension between global and local. It's usually not enough to be in your own market. Um, you need to go global, and usually you don't have all the capabilities in market, and you need to go other places around the globe. Hopefully that gives you a sense of how we're, how we're scanning the world and happy to, to dig in or hear, hear what's on your mind.